Hi guys, just a quick one today. We're just going to do a news report this week. So we'll just show you some of the things that new come in. Next week we'll have a look at, I might open up a couple of the boxes and show you play and tell. Right, from KP. Um, this is the 48 scale version of the SIAI SF260D. This is uh, one of the light trainers that's being used in Eastern Europe and apparently the Americans are using it as well, as you can tell by the markings. This, uh, through reports I've read, is very, very nice. It is 48 scale. Um, Usual senses of KP now are getting better and better and better. So if you're looking for the 48 scale version of this one, because I did have it in 70 second scale, uh, pick up this one. Now, this one here, this is something we've been able to now track down from Edward. If you've bought a Mustang or you've bought a 109 or you've bought a kit and it's got six or seven choices of markings in it and you want to build another one, but you don't want to go and buy a full kit with all the instructions and decals and all the rest of it again, these are called Edward Overtrees. We can't get them all, all the time, but when we can, we will. Uh, it just comes in a white box uh, with a information on the end of it and says Overtrees. All this contains is sprues and clear parts from the particular kit that they're indicating. So if you've got, as I said, if you've got a Mustang and, you, and the Edward Mustang and you've got six choices of markings and you don't want to go and buy all, you just want to use the markings, these are great. They're a lot cheaper than buying the standard kit. As I said, we can't get them all the time, but we will uh, endeavour to get ones when we can. At the moment, we've got the Mustang and we've got the 30 second scale ME108. So uh, if you're looking for them, just in plain white boxes with a, just the information on the back. ICM, from ICM, we've got the new 35th scale twin machine gun mount, uh, World War II German anti-aircraft gun. This is uh, just a little basic kit. I think it actually comes out of one of their kits. So they've released the machine gun set separately. So if you're just looking for a little kit to mount on a diorama or something like that, they're pretty good. Last week we were showing you the uh, 30 second scale uh, Allied pilots. This one is the 30 second scale uh, British cadets. So this is a training group. Uh, very nice to go with the uh, 30 second scale Tiger Moth or something like that. So that's quite nice, uh, 30 second scale. 48 scale plus model put this out in 70 second scale and it is a little hard to build. This one is 48 scale. It's obviously being done because they're doing the um, uh, Douglas Invader in 48 scale as a Navy version which carries these. But you can hang these off a number of aircraft, especially in 48 scale. So if you're looking for that, they're doing three version, all three versions. Um, Next week I'll have a little bit one of, to show you what they look like when they're finished. But um, this one comes with the little cradle. It does come with the parts to hang it off something if you decide to, but the kit took me to build about six, seven hours to put it all together and, and get it all ready for painting. Uh, very straightforward, the fit is superb, so very, very nice. For our armour modellers, this is the next one in the 35th scale series of uh, Land Rover Retrievers. Um, Again, same kit, this is the open back one. This is uh, quite good, there's quite a bit on it. About three or four choices of markings. So this is the, I believe this is the soft cab, the uh, early version, soft cab version. So that's uh, very, very nice. Also from ICM in 48 scale, we've got their uh, OVO 2A um, late, this is the late production version. Uh, these were used extensively in Vietnam and there's some great, great, great colour schemes of them. There was also an Aussie Pilot, so I believe the markings are gonna come out so they can do the one with the Aussie Pilot in it. Uh, nice kit, goes together well, detail is good. Um, the instructions are pretty straightforward as usual. The couple of reviews I've seen uh, suggest the kit is very easy to build. Um, again, uh, I've had a look at one of these and started uh, messing around with it. Looks good so far. Last but not least from ICM, this is in the next one in their series of Fiat Fighter Bomber. This is the Fighter Bomber version. So there's three choices of markings, all Italian, as you can see by the side. This is again, as I said, 30 second scale. Um, the reports on this kit has been very, very good. So if you sort of want to do that family or this is a particular version you wanted to do, uh, nice kit to do, very straightforward. Um, that's about it. So that's it for today. We'll talk again, and I'll, as I said, I'll try and bring in the, uh, the, this one for you to have a look at next time. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. See you then. Bye.